very good morning children today in max let's continue with our topic equal sharing so in our last class we learned division using multiplication tables so hope you all have done the exercises that was mentioned in our previous class so today let's learn division of a two digit number by a one digit number we know dividend divisor and quotient we have learned what it is now let's check in the number 16 divided by 4 the dividend will be 16 4 will be the divisor and the answer which we get that is called the quotient so today we are going to learn to do in short division method 12 divided by 2 12 is the dividend and 2 is the divisor so what is 12 divided by 2 we have to check the multiplication table of 2 so 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4, 2 threes are 6, 2 fours are 8, 2 fives are 10, 2 six are 12. So we reach the number 12. So how many times? 2 into 6 is equal to 12. So 6 times. So what's the answer? 6 is the answer. And the answer we got that is called the quotient in division. So let's do this 12 divided by 2 in a short division method. For that, let's draw a line one horizontal line and one vertical line and the dividend that is the number 12 you have to write it inside this line that is here you have to write the number 12 and which is the divisor 2 is the divisor so that 2 you have to write before this line so outside this line write the number 2 now we have to divide so what is 12 divided by 2 Check the multiplication table of 2. We saw before itself that 2 into 6 is equal to 12. So 2, 6 times is 12. So write the answer on top of this line. That is 2 into 6 is equal to 12. That 12 you have to write under this 12 again. So first we divided. Then the multiplication we have to write it again here. First we did 12 divided by 2. We got the answer 6. Now check. 2 into 6 is equal to 12. Write that 12 below this 12. Now next step we have to subtract. For subtracting we have to put the symbol minus here. Then we have to subtract 12 minus 12. We have learned that a number when subtracted with the number itself we get the number 0. The answer is 0. So 12 minus 12 the answer is 0. So is there any other number to divide? No. So we finished our division. We got 0 here and that 0 is called the remainder. So when we divide 12 divided by 2, the answer is 6. That we have to write on top of this line and the remainder that we get. Here it is 0. Let's do some more examples. Here we have 18 divided by 3. So first we have to draw the line. Two lines and dividend. Which is the dividend here? It is 18. So where you have to write? You have to write inside this line. Write 18 and the divisor is 3. And we have to write it outside the line. So write 3 here. Now you have to divide 18 divided by 3. So which multiplication table you have to check? We have to revise the multiplication table of 3 because here 3 is the divisor. So we will say the table together 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 15, 3 6s are 18. So we reach the number 18. How many times? It is 6 times. So where should we write that 6? On top of this line. So 3 6 are 18. That 18 we have to write it under this 18 again. And then the next step is to subtract. So put the minus symbol here and subtract. 18 minus 18 is equal to 0. So what is the remainder? It is 0 is the remainder here. So 18 divided by 3, what is the answer? 6. So the answer for division has to be written on the top. Let's do another one. Here we have 16 divided by 4. So first let's draw the line. And write the dividend here inside the line and the divisor outside the line. So the divisor is 4. 
And now we need to check the multiplication table of 4. So 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 4 3s are 12, 4 4s are 16. So we reach the number 16. How many times? It is 4 times. And that answer you need to write on top of this line. And that's 16. That is 4 4s are 16. So for this division, first we have to divide, then multiply and then subtract. So these three steps are there for division. So first we divided. Now we have to multiply 4 4s are 16. And the next step is to subtract. So write minus here. 16 minus 16 is equal to 0. And we reached the end of this division. We got the remainder 0. So what is the answer? The answer is 4. So 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. Let's see another one. 15 divided by 5. So first draw a line. Write the dividend inside. Divisor outside and check the multiplication table of 5. So how many times? 5, 3s are 15. So what should we write on top? We should write the number 3 here. And what should we write down here? The multiplication table that is 5, 3s are 15. We have to write it under 15 and then the next step is to subtract. So 15 minus 15 is equal to 0. We reach the end of this division and the answer is 3. So 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. So now let's learn long division method. Here we have 48 divided by 4. The same step that we followed for short division method but there is some difference. So let's see. 48 divided by 4. So which is the dividend here? It's 48 and divisor is 4. So first let's draw the line and write the dividend inside the line that is 48 here and then the divisor outside. Now do you know how many times in the force table you get 48? No. So first let's take one by one number. For addition, subtraction, multiplication, we always started with the ones place. That is from the right side. But for division, there's a difference. We have to start it from the left side. So here in 48, we have 8 ones, 4 tens. So which number comes left? It is 4 tens. So we need to start it from the tens place. So first, let's take only the number 4. We are not taking the whole number, we are taking the number one by one. So let's take the first number that is four. So how many times in fours table you can find four? Four ones are four. So you got the answer that is one. That one you need to write on top of this four itself. That is on top of the tens place. Now multiply four into one is equal to four. Write down under the tens place. And the next step is to subtract. So 4 minus 4 is 0. So our division is not finished because we have one more number left. So the next step, bring this 8 downwards. So we are writing this 8 here. And the next step is to divide this 8 by 4. So in how many times in 4's table you get the number 8? For 1's are 4, for 2's are 8. So write that to on top of this one's place and the multiply 4 2's are 8 write it below this 8 and again we have to subtract 8 minus 8 is equal to 0 is there any other number no so we finished our division so what is the answer 48 divided by 4 the answer is 12 and that answer that is the quotient we have to write on top always. So 48 divided by 4 is equal to 12. This is the long division method. Let's do one more. Here we have 24 divided by 2. So which is the dividend? It is 24 and the divisor is 12. So let's write the dividend inside and the divisor outside. Now do you know how many times in the 2's table you can reach 24? No. So what we have to do? We'll take one by one number. So which number you have to take it first? Is it 4 or 2? Is this 2? Because we always start from the left side for division. That is the difference in division. So let's take the number 2. How many times in 2's table you get the number 2? 
two ones are two. So where you need to write that one? On top of the tens place and two ones are two that you need to write under the tens place. The next step is to subtract. So put the minus symbol there and subtract two minus two is equal to zero. We didn't finish our division. We have to bring that four down again. So bringing that four down. Now again, we have to divide four by two. So how many times in the two's table you get the number four? Two ones are two, two twos are four. So what is it? Two twos. And where should you write the two? On top of the ones place. Two twos are four. That answer you have to write under this four. Next step is to subtract. So four minus four, put the symbol here. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. So we reach the end of the division because there is no other number to divide. We divided 24 divided by 2. So what is the answer? It is 12. So write it here. 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12. Let's take 55 divided by 5. So 55, write it here inside the line. And 5 is the divisor, write it outside this line. Now, do you know 55 and how many times in 5's table? No. So, we are going to take one by one number. For that, let's take the number 5 first. That is the 5 which is in the tens place. So, 5 into 1 is equal to 5. So, where should we write that one? On top of the tens place and then multiply and write it here under the tens place itself. Next step is to subtract. So 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. Next step, you need to bring the 1's place downwards. That is 5 here. Again, we need to divide 5 into 1 is equal to 5. So write that 1 on top of the 1's place and that answer here under the 1's place. So 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 and we reach the end of this division. So what is the answer? 55 divided by 5 is equal to 11. So in your text we have the practice coach. Page number 70. You have some sums here. Let's do one or two and the rest you have to do it as homework. A. We have 16 divided by 4. So let's write it. 16 and 4 here. So should we do it in short division method or long division method? You know the number 16, how many times in 4's table it goes? So 4 4's are 16, right? So we can write it directly. So 4 4's are 16, write 4 on top here and 16 down here and then subtract 16 minus 16 is equal to 0. So the answer is 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. Remember that the quotient has to be written on top. The next B, we have 33 divided by 3. So do you know how many times in 3's table you can find 33? No. So what you have to do? You have to take one by one number. So first, let's take the number which is in the tens place first. So three ones are three. That one right on top of the tens place and the three under the tens place. So three minus three is equal to zero. And then we have to bring the number which is in the ones place down. Here we have three and again we are writing down three. Again, we have to divide three ones are three. So write that one on top of the ones place, write that 3 under and then subtract 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. So what is the answer? 33 divided by 3 is equal to 11. We have F 88 divided by 2. So 88 is the dividend, 2 is the divisor and let's divide. So first take the tens place number 8. So 2 4s are 8, that 4 right on top here and the 8 under the tens place then subtract 88 minus 8 is equal to 0. 
then bring the number which is in the ones place down. Again divide, 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Then subtract 8 minus 8 is equal to 0 and we got the remainder here. So the answer 88 divided by 2 is equal to 44. So the rest of the exercises you can do it as homework. Hope you understood the short division method and long division method. Keep on doing different sums so we will be thorough with it. And you have to be thorough with the multiplication tables that we have learned in our previous chapters. So we will be meeting in the next class. Till then, thank you. 